versus the Cohiba Royale Red Dot. Yeah, I, I still don't want, like, I don't know why people are just like, hey, no, that name is good. I'm going to take it because you, it sounds like the other brand. Mm. It almost wants to taste like a Japanese gumball. It's very strong cigar. I got to slow, slow down, slow down. This thing is going to take three hours. I'll see you guys like three hours later just to smoke this thing. So yeah, Look good. It's this white Kevlar carbon fiber look to it. Red Dot Cohiba Royale. It's very... Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my, that's my way Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. Today we have a cigar that Eric smoked one. If you have one, could not, would not stop telling me to smoke. So now I had to smoke one because uh, he wants me to review it. Even though I kind of smoked it one time already, but I already don't remember how he smoked. So that will be a good opportunity to smoke this really tightly packed cigar just by looking at it. This is the Cohiba Royale. Red Dot. Oh, Cohiba Red Dot Royale. Cohiba American Royale thing. Yeah, I, I still don't want, like, I don't know why people are just like, hey, no, that name is good. I'm going to take it because you, it sounds like the other brand. Mm. Anyways, that is the cigar. Very kind of oily. And this, this is a Robusto. Let me give you the size, price, and what it's made out of. It is 5.5 by 54. And the wrapper is Nicaraguan. Binder is Dominican Republic. And filler is Honduras and Nicaraguan. Uh... Some people say this is Dominican in the, in, in the filler too, but I don't know. MSRP 28, no, MSRP. This is a smaller size. Give me the MSRP. MSRP is $25.99. Comes in a box of 10 and the box is out of this world. It's, it's, it's a nice box. You know? It's a very cool box. It has this like a fake carbon-esque look to it it's, it's good looking box but it's very expensive cigar for what it is so let's see if this worth 25 bucks all right let's get started all right it smells like a combination of wood barnyard and cherry at the foot. The side, not so much. All right, let's get started. Crunchy. All right. Bits, bits. The draw is very, very good. All right, cold draw tastes like raisin with some sweetness and woodsiness and that very little, uh, I would say average. All right, there's leather. There's also leather. Ends with the barnyard. And when I say barnyard, basically kind of like Dung. 
All right, that's all I got. Let's light it up. All right, giving the best chance possible. Let's go. Pepper. Ammonia. Definitely ammonia. Wood, cedar. Little bit of leather, very little. Raisin's gone. I don't... What? That fruitiness is gone. On the light up. That's weird. And then touch up just a little bit on the side. Okay. Hey, I almost want to taste like a Japanese gumball. I don't know if you guys seen those before. Very, very tiny in a pack of three. But it didn't go all the way. It's just kind of reminiscing of that. Very, very light. I'm talking about like from 1 to 10, it's like a 1 kind of body. So it can barely taste it. Yeah. There's a little bit of like fruity tone to it, but it's not tried to be anything, just fruity. All right. You know what? Smoke one third. I'll be right back. All right. One third. So the cigar is. Very, very strong. It tastes like full plus. <laughs> That's how strong it is. I slowed down after I kind of felt it. Um, uh, the cigar tastes fruity. It tastes like cookies. It smells kind of like cookies. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of sweet cedar. And cookies. And fruity. That's all I can say. I mean, I'm trying to be very careful on it. Uh, not get sick on it, but it's very strong cigar. I gotta slow, slow down, slow down. This thing is gonna take three hours. I'll see you guys like three hours later just to smoke this thing. So yeah, very strong cigar. It it has good notes, but like does the strength justify the notes? I don't know. I I really don't think so. That strength is ridiculous strength for what I'm getting for the notes. So. Sorry, Eric, but no, review continues. We'll get it worked on, you know, uh, however long it will take to smoke this thing. I'm just going to slow it very, very slowly, very, very slowly. And um, we'll see what second, third have for me. Be right back. Second, third, very strong cigar. Very strong cigar. It's very woodsy. It has pepper, very strong. <laughs> you still have that little bit of cookie. It has a little bit of pepper and it goes on and off, but I can taste either fruitiness or raisin and sometimes cherry. So that kind of kind of swap between. It's pungent cigar. It has a lot of flavor, but that strength, it makes no sense. That string is just way too much. You can almost taste that Lejero. You can almost taste that. Look, there's a little bit of bitterness and you know that probably came from a strong tobacco. And and it's not very noticeable, but whenever you taste it, you're like, yeah, I know why it's strong. I, I can taste that tobacco. So anyways, got to get through it. Blaster, let's go.
But before that, let's take a look at this uh, beautiful band. I mean, I think they did try to make the band look good. It's this white Kevlar carbon fiber look to it. Red dot, Cohiba, Royale. It's very catchy. You know, it fits that box very well, but it's just... It's not for beginners to smoke. It's not. If you don't know how to slow down, you don't know how to pace yourself, don't smoke this. Right? If you tend to smoke too fast and you can't slow down, don't smoke this. You want to smoke it when you can control it. If you can't control it, don't smoke it. Just saying. Just don't. Just just don't. All right? But if you can control it, you smoke strong stuff, you like flavor, you like strong uh, um, strength, that's a cigar you should be smoking. I mean, that that's actually not bad. But for the price, I think a little high. I'm going to finish this up and then I'll give you what I think I should be paying for. Well, what I think I would like to pay for if I was to get this cigar. Be right back. All right, finally finished. Here we go. See, if you slow down and then you can... Like, for those people who had trouble with strong cigar, you just had to be really, really slow. And then, you know, this thing's strong, so I did really, really slow. But I can tell you, this cigar definitely has flavor all the way to the end. Flavor, flavor, flavor. A lot of woodsy, a lot of fru fruity flavor. Uh, I almost have a little bit of musk taste to it, but not a lot. And then uh, it's also got uh, a little bit tobacco flavor, pepper, and it's pleasant. It's a pleasant cigar, but strength is way too strong for you to enjoy. Like, you can go like, oh, I taste it. I want another puff. No, you take, I taste it. Okay, I'm going to wait a little bit before I take another puff. So that's one of those issues. For me, um, it's not going to be a cigar I buy. Because it's way too strong to start with. Um, but Eric, I love you, bro. But it's not a cigar that I would like because of the strength. It tastes good. I'll give you that. It has a lot of flavor. I, I give you that. But at the expense of a very strong cigar. So, um, again, if you just started out, you want to look for cool cigars to smoke, this is not one of them. Okay. Um, construction's fine. Draw is good, surprisingly, and um, favor is good, but the strength is bad, okay? Now, if you ask me how much I think this cigar should cost, I will say, now don't get mad, <laughs> this is somewhere between the $15 range to an $18 range cigar. 15 to 18 It depends on the size and what you get because the, the strength really kills. It kills the enjoyment of the cigar. And honestly, I think a lot of other cigar out there could do the same if they ramp up their tobacco to be a stronger tobacco and give you that kind of flavor. And this is basically that. They put in a lot of strong tobacco in there so that you kind of get the flavor more. I don't like that trade-off. So $15 to $18 range. All right. It doesn't mean that it's a bad cigar. It's just that it, it kills the enjoyment. So for that enjoyment, I've given about that much for enjoyment. All right. So with that being said, that is it for this review. Again, thanks for Eric sending me the cigar, even though I don't like, I don't really like it that much. Um, again, he still spent the money and sent it over. So make sure to check out his reviews. Um, obviously, his uh, review for other cigars are sometimes different than mine or slightly differentiated. It will be good to watch multiple people and get their opinion on different cigars before you go buy them. And I'm pretty sure he reviewed this cigar as well because this is one of his favorite cigars and not mine. See the difference, right? So that's it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.